Good morning, everyone. Uh, today I continue my video uh, how to select the best covariate uh, in the the previous um, videos I stop around how to um, choose the best uh, frequency of decryptor to uh, for the modeling. I am in the past right we uh, we run the model with stepwise and we set we choose the a lot of decryptor right you can see here decryptor you know uh, from uh, decryptor from uh, let me see here uh, we have a lot of decryptor here so in here I will uh, let me see here yeah, so, you can go. so in here I will show you how to align it so you go to insert and you go to the pivot table and after that you choose the, the range of you know your data here click and after that you click uh, in here I will show the exit uh, where the uh, I will ally data I put I will choose the one in the I4 and click OK here and after that I click OK so this will show you the pivot table here and after that you go to the decryptor here and you go to the frequency here and you can see here after that you only click the pivot table chart and let they show you the in the recommend the, the chart one here in here they will show you you know the frequency of the descriptor uh, you can see here the descriptor you know uh, s mean 16 have around maybe let me see I will show the data label here around 13 times occur in the model if you run the whole uh, whole you know the step y from over, over, over 1 over 5 to over 1 and also in here the, the second important descriptor is uh, you can see here uh, 11 times 11 times here they call you know let me see here they call frequency 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 right and here you know the molecular descriptor the molecular descriptor descriptor so okay and then here the the the, the the first one is maybe equivalent. You can see here around nine, right? Uh, but you, as you can see in this uh, in this study, they also make the graph like also right frequency molecular molecular descriptor, and also here as I mentioned before, uh, to avoid the uh, over model over fitting because uh, we cannot put the a lot of molecular descriptor in the model at the same time, right? So in here they will choose around if you have 10 compounds you only have one descriptor but in, in here I have around let me see I have around 172 compounds compound right I have around 16 you know uh, molecular descriptor and you only select you know the the next one so for example here you can see here you can choose the uh, the highest to the one two three four five this is the uh, the order of the uh, the important descriptor. So after that, you choose this um, uh, covariate uh, and descriptor, and you can run the model uh, uh, in here. For example, here this study they choose around one, two, three uh, descriptor for the model A, and model B they have one, two, three, four uh, descriptors. Uh, if you um, want to run the model you know uh, for example uh, let me go to the previous uh, paper in here um, uh, in the previous uh, you know um, uh, videos I uh, mentioned how to run the uh, model for QSAP model right uh, study right the first one we can run the multi linear regression the second one we can run multi nonlinear regression and the third one we can run the artificial uh, network neural network so if you follow my video you can run you can choose the best uh, covariate and you have ic50 right? you can have you have ic50 let me see i will show you the data uh, here the data sample data here yeah you have the ic50 for the uh, outcome and you have here decryptor and you can you can run your model 
so I hope you know the this the series of you know this video can help you choose the best molecular descriptors by regression model and you can clean the data uh, your descriptor by remove the high get uh, correlated features and remove the descriptor with low variance and also you need to remove the descriptor with content values remove the descriptor with content and near content variables uh, and the last one is remove descriptor at least one missing values uh, uh, I think uh, these videos will help you for further analysis uh, in the quiz after this uh, thank you for your listening